Today I think I'm going to take a look at one of my oscilloscope probes. I have the following problem. If you look at the square wave I'm showing you, that's actually supposed to be a clean square wave, but it has what's called ringing, and I suspect there might be a bad connection somewhere. But first I'm going to go ahead and try a different cable and see if I have the same problem to make sure that the problem doesn't originate from the generator or it's a problem within the scope. So there's a different probe on there now and the problem is gone so the problem is in that probe I was talking about so I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. Now before I take this thing apart I'm going to go ahead and try to wiggle all the wires and see if that makes a difference and It really makes no difference whatsoever. What if I switch positions here? This is a times 10 probe, a times 1 in times 10 probe. No, the waveform just gets smaller, but I still have that ring there. And let me go up to the other end. Going into the oscilloscope, no. It's, so it's not doing anything. I was hoping, well, maybe it would be like an easy super easy fix like maybe with this ground cable so that's not the case either so next I'm going to check the little ground wire here or ground cable because that is actually easily accessible Uh, that's odd. I should should get something here, but I'm not getting anything at all. So I'm going to take a closer look here. Most likely the problem is going to be at the ends. And I think this I'm going to take a look at the alligator clip end. So next I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this clip here. This is about the easiest to do. I'm going to put something in the jaws of the clip so I can pull this back here. Because if not, I'll have a problem pulling this back. And if I'm lucky, the problem's right there. And I should be back up and running in a couple of minutes. So Of course, I'm using the ohms ohmmeter function with the little speaker on and I get nothing I wish it would be an easier problem it's always like everything's seems like a lot of stuff I do is rather convoluted other people just breeze through stuff and I'm like uh, no that's not it well as old as this probe is I mean it, it's about um, I would say about 40 years old so um next problem might be here at this end too so here looks like they have some kind of shrink wrap tubing on here I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off so my next step is well maybe I can take this apart shorten this a little bit and Resolder this. Um, same with this side. I'll start with this side. If not, I have to look for some different kind of wire. Hopefully, I got something um, laying around here. So I cut off a little piece of wire and the clip. And see here, I took about I don't know, right up about a centimeter off and. Okay, I've got full contact now, so what I'm going to do is um, take this apart further, put it all back together, and then um, go from there. So I'm putting everything back together, and I've got various different sizes of shrink tubing on here. Of course, one will fit over the, or rather two will fit over the end here. Hopefully, I'm going to shrink one first. I've got small tubing two back here which I'm going to slide up to there first and another 
little bit larger piece over there. Basically, I'm going to try to stiffen this area here is what I'm trying to do. So I think I can go ahead and start. I got to do this off camera because the camera's just in the way. Now I managed to put everything back together. Again, as I mentioned, I uh, put a couple of uh, tubes of shrink tubing on here to stiffen this up. So hopefully that took care of that problem and I will no longer have that ringing problem. Here's how it looks put back together. Um, I guess it'll, it's an okay job. Again, as I said, I put a couple of uh, tubes of shrink tubing on there so to make this end here stiff where that break was and still got enough length to use so I'm happy with that and I just put it back together and and we'll go ahead and try it out now. So here we go. I got the output from the generator hooked up directly to the probe here. And I'm in the um, just in the basic direct probe of function, the times one. And of course the two grounds are together. So it looks like I'm back in business. Um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. My next video will be um, what I should be doing is um, compensating this uh, probe here. It's kind of like it's going to be like a beginner's video. So again, thanks for watching.